up next in the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. the cardiovascular strength of the great Cain Velasquez. Big spot for him here tonight. Great in transition, big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, King. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A wrestler holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, here we go with round one. And sometimes when you have a closely contested matchup on paper, Grappler versus Grappler, we see a striking affair. But all indications are these guys are going to try to clinch and try to do what got them to the big show. They will try to clinch, right? They may try and strike, but ultimately, John, they are grapplers at their core. And at their core, they need to be in contact. The only issue is, normally, for both of these guys, when they're in these grappling exchanges, they never face anyone that's as diverse or as good in these positions as they are tonight. They get mirror images of themselves. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. And that one cut him open. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Relax. 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 Crazy. 
crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Watch right, watch right. Guard. Nice hammer fist. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by the last kiss. Left punch is true. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Matumbo style he gets denied. Blocked. Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Sound strike on the ground. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Four sounds for the end of round one. Stop. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Oh, he went single, rotate head outside, this dude's going for a ride. Oh, oh. Deep, flips him over the top, but a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or did no, I read my last round? Absolutely run? not, you don't survive that. It's over, it's over, John. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Velasquez. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Nice hammer fist. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, side control now. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Top pressure being applied here. Velazquez has got him in a crucifix now. Gonna go to work from the top. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Under two minutes now to go round two. Side control now. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Velazquez is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. 
Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on it. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Close guard. Now he's trying to guillotine. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of drag him to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. You saw him try to submit his opponent in the previous round. Had one attempt. We'll see if there's more where that came from in this next round. He will throw multiple attempts at you. He will continue to throw things against the wall until something sticks. Look for more submissions than that punch is good. Velasquez's pass is denied. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. <laughs> Gotta be careful, Armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. <laughs> snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day, but hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 2 minutes, 13 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out, all right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight, got the submission victory.